As long as our existence depends on others, we are all slaves in everything but name. They don't dare call us that for the revolution that that caused. However, as long as your and my existence depends on others, we, my brothers, are nothing more but serves. Serves. Slaves. Nothing more. We may not like to hear it, but when is the last time, for example, if you truly wanted to do what you wanted to do, how long could you survive in this world? Yeah. The world is structured to keep our intellect, our ability to think, jail there's a reason for that we're all slaves brother truly and i don't mean to to sound negative even though that is my i've i've started to come to a realization i have a very negative nature but that's because i think i've reached a certain understanding of things that has just put me in that predicament. I hate sounding negative, but if things are not done or said or allowed to be said, I do not see a good end to us. It will happen, I think we will undergo a trial by fire. Some of us may not come on. But whatever remains, the greatness of that civilization, unfathomable. But right now, we are interlocked in a war, brother. Mm -hmm. A war between good and evil. And I'm not sure if we're... Uh, rather, good is winning. Put it that way. I 100% think that there have been great advanced civilizations way before. Again, maybe, just maybe, our civilization will not make the mistakes of the past. Something in me says that good will triumph in the end. It has to. There is God. The super intelligence of the universe here that we're talking about. Not an artificially created. But the God of all gods. It exists, brother. It's in every and each and every we all important, man. We all, again, all is one. And one is all. Do you realize that our, in antiquity, a lot of stuff has been lost? So much. Can you imagine the mysteries within the Library of Alexander? Dude, why? Why? It's as if, Mankind reaches a certain level of information, knowledge, and then something happens to take that away. Part of the Library of Alexandria is extremely questionable, to say the least. How is it legal for a religious institute of this power to have access to secret history, to classified it's history? not, brother. It's not. It's not. Human beings. Human beings. We should be privy to certain knowledge, but we're not because certain people want to stay in power. And knowledge is power, brother. It's it's hard not to get a little bit upset over it because you just feel like there's such huge gaps, such huge vacuums of knowledge that might actually be capable of being filled in if we had all of the pieces of the puzzle. And, and you know, I really think some of the most critical pieces have been put under lock and key, whether it's... Be careful with that though, bro. Careful with that.
you might want to scratch this out this 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 particular you yeah be careful with that this is between you and i yeah all right uh, they might reach out to you in in certain ways i dare not say certain things on the podcast but you know i'm thinking them you know i'm thinking them seems that certain elements want us to forget who we truly are mm -hmm. the power that's within us is infinite bro. every one of us every soul in this world has significance but some would have us believe that more souls are more important than others there are things we do not understand what we call supernatural may not be supernatural at all it's just one thing of the many mm. but it had the ability to enslave us somehow possibly for our own volition somehow it overcame the greatness within us Again, this statement that we're all slaves is so freaking negative. Extremely negative. Because remember Spartacus. Rome was one step away from not being because of that yep. rebellion. Every one of us has an infinite of possibilities in us. The trick is to recognize it. And it's not a trick. See, it is, again, Graham Hancock's idea of amnesia on a civilizational level. What if it's brought down on an individual level? It's as if we, our soul, has amnesia. 